Hello everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com and in this video I'm going to show you everything that you need to know to use Google Pay. I'm going to be showing you on an Android device, but it works exactly the same on an iPhone. So first of all, you need to download the Google Pay app. So on your iPhone, you can go into the App Store and search for Google Pay. On Android, we're going to go to the Google Play Store and we'll just search for Google Pay. I actually already have the app installed, so when I search for it, you'll notice that here it is, it comes up, and you can see that I can just tap to open it. All right, so we'll open it up on our phone. And when you first open up Google Pay, you'll need to log in with the Google account that you'd like to use for Google Pay. So go ahead and log in with your account. And you'll notice that now we are on our home screen, uh, but we don't have a card set up yet. So what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and tap on payment down at the bottom. You can see we're on the home screen. We're gonna tap over to payment. And then from here, we're going to add a payment method. And you'll notice that we can pay with either a credit or debit card or PayPal. So you can select whichever you want. I'm going to add a credit card. You can take a picture of the card if you'd like or you can tap to enter the details manually. And then go ahead and enter the card number. All right, once you've entered all of your information, you're just going to scroll all the way to the bottom and tap on save. You may have to agree to some issuer terms, so go ahead and scroll all the way to the bottom again and then tap accept. So once it finishes adding your card, it'll let you know that when your phone is open, you'll be able to use Google Pay, but that you can add additional security methods in the settings. And we'll take a look at that in a second. So I'm just going to tap, got it. You may need to confirm with your bank, so you can choose a verification option. I'll just have them send me a text message. And now I can see on the payment screen that the card that I added is ready to use. So if I actually want to make a payment with this card, I can just tap on it, and it will open up the card on my phone and tells me that all I need to do is hold my phone near a terminal and I'll be able to pay. Notice that also on the screen we can tap the three dots at the top right and that would be how we could remove this payment method. But for now I'm just going to tap on the X. If we take a look at the bottom of our screen we also have another area here in Google Pay and that's the passes section. So This is where we could add gift cards, loyalty cards, plane tickets and things like that so we could tap on pass. And then you'll notice we could add a gift card or a loyalty program in here. Uh, so you can use Google Pay for that as well. And then the last option on the bottom is the send option. So this is where we can actually send or request money from people. It works similarly to Venmo. Uh, they do need to be using Google Pay, so they might have to get set up with that the first time. The good thing about using Google Pay, however, is that most people have a Google account, so uh, it's not as difficult for people to just use Google Pay as it is to maybe sign up for a Venmo account. But um, obviously, it depends on the situation. Uh, if you go to the top left here in Google Pay, you'll be able to tap on the three lines, which give us a few more options. First of all, we can see the activity section. This will show us all of our payments and just all of our activity that we've done here in Google Pay. Uh, so if you want to make sure, and you might want to verify that and, and check in there once in a while. If we go back to the menu here, we can check out which banks are participating with Google Pay. So that actually takes you to an external link. You could tap on that if you'd like to take a look. You can get some rewards for inviting friends to join Google Pay. So you can tap on the get rewards to take a look at that. If you have a promo code, so that's probably from a friend, you can go ahead and enter the promo code. And then we can go ahead and tap on our settings down in this list. And this is where we have three different options here. We can tap on the general settings. Uh, this is where we can just choose if we want email updates and then we can edit our account info. So our name, address, all that sort of thing. I'm going to tap back for now and we'll take a look at notifications. So we can tell Google whether we want to be notified when purchases are made, when money is sent to us. So probably a good idea to turn on uh, definitely the purchases and money sent to you. You could probably turn off Google Pay promotions. And um, you could also turn on where you can pay. That's kind of cool. To, it will automatically tell you if you're near a store that you can use Google Pay in. I'm going to go back for now, however, though. And we're going to tap on sending money. This is where we can set up some additional verification for when we send money. Uh, so we could set up a pin to make sure that every time we send money from our Google Pay account, not only does our screen have to be unlocked, but we also have to enter our pin. And then once you have a pin set up, you could uh, just set it to use your fingerprint, but you do have to set up a pin first. So if you're having some issues with that, uh, that's probably what the problem is. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Uh, it's, it's pretty straightforward. You've got your four tabs here on the home screen. Again, to make a payment, you're going to tap on the payment tab. And then to send money, you're going to tap on the send tab. You can add all of your cards in here and you can switch between them. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube. And if you want to see more technology tips and tutorials, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's all I have for you for today. This is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.